So you've been working out for a while. You've been lifting consistently. You've been lifting regularly. You feel like your lifts are starting to go up a little bit. But you're not gaining any size. Why is that? If you're getting stronger and you're lifting regularly, you're drinking protein powder, why the heck aren't you getting bigger? Well, I think I know why because I personally have dealt with that. And that's what we're talking about in today's episode. So strap in and get ready for episode 111. That's right, 111 C's. Let's go. I've always been that skinny guy. Why can't I gain muscle mass? What do I do in the gym? They said I'd always be skinny. This is your complete source for how to gain lean muscle and break out of your skinny body. From nutrition to getting the most out of your workouts and everything in between. We know just how frustrating gaining muscle mass can be. But don't worry, we've got you covered. You're listening to the Bones to Bulk podcast. Hey, welcome to today's episode. My name is Brian Perry. I will be your host. And today is my 111th birthday. Not really, but I couldn't help but use the Lord of the Rings reference. Anyway, let's move on. So before we dive in to today's episode, head on over to YouTube. If you have not checked out the YouTube Bones to Book channel, please head over there. We've got a plethora, I like using that word, plethora, of videos that deal with topics just like I discuss them here. I have different exercises. I have food videos. Like I have a ton of stuff on YouTube. I think I'm up to, I don't know what I'm up to. There's well over 200 videos on there. So go check them out. There's some good stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications. Drop us a comment. Let us know what videos you would like to see. And I will do those videos because I pay attention to those comments. All right, with that being said, let's dive in. So you've been lifting regularly and you're just not putting on any size and it's frustrating, right? It's excruciatingly frustrating because here you are going through the daily grind, you're regularly lifting, you're being consistent, you're building that habit, that discipline, and yet it's not doing anything for you. And why is that? And here's why. It's your nutrition. If you're struggling to gain, there's probably either... One of two, three, one of two things going on. Maybe three things. I don't know. First, you're just not eating enough. You have to hit a certain calorie range in order to put on muscle. And if you're a hard gainer, then that range is significantly higher than it is for the average person. I know this because when I put in my weight and my height and all that fun stuff in the calorie calculator and it determines how much calories I need to maintain my weight, it undershoots it by a lot. Like I'm consuming, in order to maintain my weight, I have to eat about six to 700 more calories than what it says. If I eat what it says, trust me, that's weight loss for me. So chances are what you have to consume is more than what a calculator has told you if you are a hard gainer. Now, the other reason that you may not be putting on size is you are eating a ton of food, but it's the wrong kind of food. Now, you may be saying, but a calorie is a calorie, and protein is protein, and fat is fat, and carbohydrates are carbohydrates, right? Well, that's kind of what I thought too. Because everybody told me, I'll just eat more calories, eat more hamburgers, and cake, and ice cream, and all these delicious things to the taste buds, but that had zero nutritional value. And because they had zero nutritional value, I would consume these things in I don't even want to think about what kind of numbers. I was probably hitting like 5,000 calories a day, but it wasn't doing anything for me because it was calories in and it was calories out and my body couldn't use any of that stuff to really build muscle or make a huge difference. And that's what you have to keep in mind. It's not just hitting a certain calorie range. It's not just getting macros. Where all that stuff comes from Where all that stuff comes from is super important. And there's not enough said about all that. And we live in the day and age of carnivore and keto and all these fad diets that are terrible. Let me tell you something. First off, my biggest thing that I hear all the time is, oh, well, studies show studies are BS. And here's why. They'll do a study today saying one thing. 
And then tomorrow they'll do a study saying a complete opposite. How many times have they gone back and forth saying eggs are good for you, eggs are bad for you, eggs are good for you, eggs are bad? You know why? Because they do these tests, they do these studies, and they have a group of people that they're doing this study on. Now, typically studies are done and the people who are supplying the information are self-reporting. Now, first off, there's your first problem. When you self-report, usually the information is way off base. Not on purpose, but just because people don't know. Second off, we don't know. Like the carnivore diet, the keto diet, these things haven't been around long enough to understand the long-term effects of them. And so, you know, we can sit here and we can say, all this study says and that study says, but guess what? There's a reason that the Romans or the Greeks or whoever didn't pass down the keto and carnivore diet to us. They didn't spell out like, this is the way of health. Because it's not tried and true. It's not proven. I firmly believe with all my heart that the best diet is no diet. It's learning how to eat good, healthy foods from every single food group. That means eating healthy carbs, eating healthy fats, and eating healthy proteins. That means just because the three-pound bacon cheeseburger dripping grease has a lot of protein in it, that it's healthy. Nor does it mean that that plate of whole wheat pasta with grilled chicken breast on top is bad because Oh my God, it has carbs in it. We've got to get out of this mindset of just strictly viewing things as carb, protein, whatever. And I'm not going to dive too much into that because in our next episode, I'm really going to be diving deep into that. But what I want you to take away from today is start realizing what you're eating. That that includes how much you're eating and what you're eating. So if you have not ever tracked calories, get an app. I say this all the time. Fitbit makes a good one. You don't have to have a Fitbit to use it. My Fitness Pal, there's a, there's a ton of good calorie tracking apps out there, okay? Get an app, start tracking everything you eat. Your mind will be blown. I promise you it will be because I know mine was. Because what we think is in something and until we start measuring things out and looking at nutrition labels and adding up calories, we don't realize how much or what we eat in a day. We just don't. It's taking this magnified look into a very detailed part of our life and saying, okay, this is not what I thought it was. How many times have you maybe researched a topic, maybe found out some family history, something, and it wasn't what you expected? You thought it was going one way, but it went a complete opposite way. That's how it is when you track your calories. It's like watching one of those whodunit movies, and you're trying to figure out who the crap, you know, did whatever, did whatever crime in the movie, and then at the end you're like, oh, man, I didn't see that coming. That's how it is with counting calories and tracking what you eat. Do it for a week, do it for two weeks, then look back. You'll be like, holy crap, I really only ate that or I ate that much. Like, it's eye-opening. With that being said, go follow us on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Again, check out the YouTube channel. It's chock full of good information. If you like the podcast, you will like the YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it if you went over there and subscribed. So without further ado, remember whatever walls you're facing if you're struggling to gain muscle to gain size you can do it it's possible if i did it anybody can do it so remember you've got this